Uh, hello everyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Killian Soft, but me, no, not Killian, as well as... Rocky here! And no, the game isn't broken, it just doesn't have any <laughs> audio on this screen. But yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we will be giving four games, about half an hour each, to show if there will be any good for streaming later, in an alphabetical order we've been going so far. And today we are actually reaching the end of the list. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be the end of this, uh, because, well, <laughs> I've been buying games since I started this, so of course new games have popped up in the list above where we were. But, yeah. Let's start the timer with this first game called <laughs> Zeepkist, which is, well, it's a Dutch word, meaning uh, those engineless cars. You, well, cars is a bit of a... <laughs> A uh, car might be a bit of an overstatement, but basically it's a cart without an engine. And the meaning with them is to, well, go downhill uh, as fast and, well, you know, as fast as possible to get to an uh, to get to a finish. With only the power of gravity to power the cart. We, so, yeah. we have a word for those in Sweden. Oh? Lord Bill. It literally means boxcar. <laughs> Which is actually, I think boxcar is a term that's used elsewhere as well. And yeah, this is an alpha version, apparently. So, but yeah, let's see how this game plays then. Uh, online free play adventure. Let's give that a shot. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, steer, arms up, and brake, arrow keys. Oh, oh hello there. Hey, hey Tatum, <laughs> thanks for the follow. I uh, hope this won't be too boring for you. <laughs> uh, shift work reset. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Drakir, uh, uh, Tatum, I, who I've rated a few times, is in the chat. Uh, uh, so, yeah, say hello if you want. <laughs> hey, Tim! <laughs> Did I pronounce it right? Hmm? Yeah, Did I yeah, pronounce his name right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their name, uh, Tatum. <laughs> like potato. <laughs> All right, we call him Potato then, if that makes you happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Tatum in the chat. Uh, hello, oh, hello, neighbor. <laughs> because uh, they're Danish. Hello, so, hello fe fellow Scandinavian. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I turn the controller on, does it let me control it now? Yes, I... Okay, that works better, I'd say. Oh, let's see. Bronze medals unlock the next level. Okay, let's give it a show. It is. <laughs> I'm already worried. Mostly uh, for Helia's track record in cars and games. <laughs> uh, at least it doesn't have an engine this time, and it seems I got it wrong again. Uh, <laughs> Tatum in chat. Uh, Norwegian, bish, and I am not Danish. <laughs> Well, still neighbor, and Scandinavian at least. Uh, <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> That's our first crash. What? Because yeah, we, we can't we can't accelerate, so we can only break. Uh, if, how do we break? <laughs> we can put our arms up. And it seems that they haven't put in sound in the levels yet. Okay. But there's some sound of the wheels, but that's it. And you're doing something, but not really music. <laughs> Crashing. Nope. Oh, too slow. Nope. No. You're still going. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to end here. <laughs> there's some sounds of it slapping around, but other than that. Okay. I shouldn't expect too much from a an alpha game, but yeah, this, this could be pretty fun, but still, let's just reset that. And let's try the keys at the moment, because, yeah, that, okay, we can break with the back key. For some reason, holding back on the control stick didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can finish at least one level. This, yeah, this clearly is not too unfinished to really be for streaming. So, slow yeah, down. 
just something about it feels odd. <laughs> Uh, too many of those horror games where th things just are <laughs> disguised as so cutesy. No, it doesn't even have that. It just feels like mm -hmm. I'm too old for this. <laughs> but again, you... What the heck was that? A crash you, noise. You some... <laughs> it's someone that ate something. Okay. Uh, but saying... You know how my opinion is on the racing games. Yeah, thing unlocked. Yeah. Oh. Really? <laughs> Different cars. <laughs> of course, a wooden freaking shoe. <laughs> Can we swap that out somewhere? Oh, here. Okay, garage. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. It, it's already. Right. It's. Taking over control. Uh, let's go with <laughs> bright freaking orange, of course. Uh, let's. Where is the? Ah, there we go. <laughs> and of course, we're going here with these <laughs> the wooden freaking shoe. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here we go. Let's do this level at least, and then move on to the next uh, game because yeah, this looks like it could be fun uh, when it's done, but obviously it is not. So. The whole deal yeah. with these uh, box carts is to basically yeah, get to the end without crashing. But the real trick is conserving enough speed and yet not uh, losing too much that you end up paused, that you end up stag... What is the word? That you end up stagnated somewhere? Just plan out the uh, stop. Yeah. I think it's trying to be a bit of a flat out with that. But okay, we gave it at least a shot. This game is not going to be it for streaming. Though I, I must yeah. say that I like I like these little bits where you can move around uh where you're actually moving around an area. <laughs> and what is up with that cat? This is <laughs> Okay, the cat is <laughs> the cat is offended and is taking off. All right, next game then. Uh, yeah. What is the next game? The next game is a bit of an older one, not as old as Escape from Monkey Island, so it should behave better. Okay. Screen share to you. OBS should catch it at any second now. Come on, I know I didn't set you up for this. There we go, Xeno Clash. This game was a bit of an interesting thing back in the day when it released. It actually got a sequel as well, but basically this is a first-person brawler. Can't hear you! <laughs> Once again, you put the audio too high or something. No, no, the game is loud. There you go. There, better? Yeah. Better. I even lowered on my end a little bit, but... Good music, but bloody heck was not hearing you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Xenoclash. This game... Well, you can see it from the options. It is running... It came out around the time of uh, Half-Life 2 and such, I think. And yeah, it's a... It's a first-person melee brawler. So... Let's start up the timer, or actually let's reset it first, and start it up, and we start a new game. Let's see, yeah, this is very much <laughs> the same engine as Half-Life 2. Uh, start new game. Also, this game is a bit of a bizarro stuff going on. I think this last character here is, is the one that we, we're supposed to be... Yep, that is our player character from what I remember. What the heck? Yeah, something is going on, but they aren't exactly telling you. I'm not sure if there's any spoken dialogue in this game at all, or much at all. 
I knew of this game beforehand, but I never played it. Okay. Hello again. Hendrick with bomb. Learn that from me, remember. But you didn't do it right. You are not dead like me. Let's see what else you remember from your training. Try kicking those birds for warm up. Okay. Uh, options, audio... Ah, there we go. Uh, dialogue only subtitles then. Okay, th this is... This is trippy. <laughs> uh, okay, we can... Kick. The heck are you? Some sort of orc? You think... It is stupid also for weird... Oh, but I would. <laughs> kicks won't help you much. To find a real opponent, you have to focus on him. Okay. Right, let's say Ivro. Now all your attacks and your movement are focused on me. Now. Go ahead. I was to say, it somehow reminds you of Magic Gathering of Five Sons. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I know of that game or whatever that might be. Magic the Gathering. Yeah, Magic the Gathering has had its own games and I presume some spin offs or such, but okay, uh, it, just one of the card sets. I think they made it into one game called uh, Technomonster? For how many universes in the card games? I don't know. One it came into a video game from I think was Technomonster. Okay. It was recent actually. Okay. You actually have to hold the down for that? That's usually you have to tap it for each. Okay, guard breaker. Also, how the hell are you seeing with that? Th oh no, your eyes are on to the side. Oh, you are meta mock teacher. Okay, I see. We have stamina underneath our health. And of course, <laughs> you run out. Your guard breaks. This is more lean dodging than like <laughs> dodge stepping like you usually see. Okay. Okay, an illusion. Sounds so unsettling to listen to. <laughs> thing again and out we go okay maybe not much of the gathering this looks more dystopian Ap post-apocalyptic 
I, I think what I remember of this game is just bizarro like this. You. Guess we bombed our own family of sorts. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're facing off. I'm getting confused. Is the call of someone father, mother? Like, it's not two people. It's probably about one person. Yeah, the, the bird creature. I must admit, I know some things about this game already from previous. Yep. Oh, you are the strong one. From TV tropes and such. After, yeah. Getting curious about stuff, and but it is—you uh, could say this game is interesting just because of all the weirdness. It, and like I said, it, it got a sequel, so people found it interesting enough. Yeah, nope. like a father mod. It sounds like something they use throw up as a gag. Yep. But. I don't know if it's supposed to be a joke name or not. Nope. Okay, you are almost... Yo, you are gone. <laughs> you sound like a freaking chicken. Well, he was a bird, so of course he sounds like a chicken. It... You can pick up and eat fruits to recover health? Okay. Uh... I'm not... There they are. Okay. Yeah, if we're not, then we're dead and we're squished in half, so... <laughs> oh. Okay, typical controls like this. Why did he use this... Is Keith shooting? Oh, you're not. Why? Why use the stick to close that? You just push it close instead. Uh, yeah, literal chickens without their heads, which I'm pretty sure uh, they don't actually. About that, Helian. There is a chicken that survived without his head for almost a year. Yeah, there must have been some sort of experiment. Man. More of an accident. They cut off his head just enough for a part of its brain to remain, but they had to keep. They had to. The only way to survive was them feeding it. Okay. It's a, basically a freak. A free case of luck. Yeah. Oop. It was meant to be butchered for meat. But yeah. One sloppy shot and it somehow survived. Okay, that sounded a bit more metal than it seemed. The skull bomb. S skull bomb. <laughs> Oh, I can see why you mean one last time. You, <laughs> how did I not notice that earlier? Do you mean the thing through his head? Yeah. 
Yeah, do the pixelation. Say it is a bit pixelated for me occasionally, so I did not do was not sure what he had through his head or was part of his head. <laughs> Their damn yeah. red thing. Uh let's see, gun. Let's... Yep, yep. Okay. What a... okay, these must be the bug birds. Yep. And they jump, okay. Do I have limited ammo with these or unlimited? So it seems unlimited at the moment. Could be because this is in part a tutorial on them. Oop. I don't think we want to try and punch these things. Their beaks would be a lot better at killing than our fists. You again. Uh, yeah, that's what. Don't worry <laughs> about me, Gap. Hey. Okay. One new one, and. <laughs> okay. okay. One of them got a gun as well, or something. It dies of shooting that guy in the ass. Yep. You are aggressive. Jetsy. <laughs> okay, you went at spinning. Oh, you are the one with the gun. There's some the grenade launcher. Oh, someone else is. Oh, yeah, he is back up. He's got up quick. What the heck? Well, did the bird go down completely this time? Yeah, okay, that was almost an exchange. Yeah, he was stunned, but I couldn't grab him there. Oop, good dodge. Not too good dodge. You are not firing that thing <laughs> close up. Okay. Uh, you again? Yeah, he was, we got him down quick. It's funny you decided to follow me, Deidre, because I wasn't going anywhere. So you were going to wait here till your million brothers and sisters got here and killed you? Get up, you Tef. We'll go into the beach or the woods where we can hide. Away from Halston. I'm glad you came, Deidre. Seems now it's my turn to follow you. Wait, is that the same voice actor as Sarah from Dark Messiah? It runs on the same engine. Do you think your family will come after us? I'm sure of it. It's what I would do. Maybe? Do it does seem to follow the whole exploitation B movie dialogue. Yeah, the, <laughs> the dialogue isn't too great. Or the voice acting is at least. <laughs> great, we're we're firing shrunken heads. Yes, we are. What just... I have no what? idea what just hit us there. Did we step into something? Unsure. I'm so confused by this game. <laughs> but so far, would you say yes or no on streaming, possibly? 
I would say possibly yes. But I am curious. It is a bit clunky, but a lot of games in the zeros were. Yep, and it at least works better than other clunky games we played. Yeah. And there's always something oddly fascinating about seeing weird ass original games <laughs> and designs. Definitely. But what the heck are these? Some sort of reptiles. And this is going to keep coming. Is this, is this supposed to be some kind of mix between a raptor and a dodo? By the looks of it. Well, it seems they are pretty slow, so we can probably outrun them for now. As long as those stupid crabs stop spitting at us. Okay. Um. Didn't mean to do that. Behind us. Got more of them. Yep. You little shits. Really, they're burping at us with that. No, I thought you were dead. Okay, <laughs> enough of this. They look actually like uh, they've been. Pl like plucked birds with horns. Okay, how many more of them are there going to be like this? Can we just open this up or not? Okay. Do we get over? No, we. I'm too used to games having jump features. And many usually do, so it's usually weird. Okay, I think that was supposed to be it since he spoke up. Yeah, hopefully, but yeah. It usually, <laughs> in the money games, it gets weird, but you can't jump. Okay. Moving on without our gun this time. Okay, that was just odd. But this entire game is odd. I hope our trail is harder to follow in the woods. By now, Rimat must be up and telling you hundreds of brothers and sisters to come after us. Father, mother had many children, but we are not hundreds. Oh, you're not hundreds. We're pretty safe then, huh? What's that noise? He is one of the Corwood of the Free. One of those crazy people? Cack, this place is full of Corwoods. I'd rather go back to Halston. They're not so bad. Look, he has his mind set on headbutting things, and nothing will change his mind about that. But why would he do that? Why not? Watch out! Mm. Oops. Okay, against three of these forwards. Oh, backwards and secondary attack to perform a supercharged sprint. Okay. Okay. You are just going to be a bizarro fighter. I can like it can say everything here is bizarre. Oh, and there's another. Is he having metal straws in his ears? Looks like it, and I got stuck on a twig. A lunko, a, a quarwit. Yep. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's try and focus this guy down first. Uh. 
<laughs> Shit is throwing rocks. <laughs> what sort of noise was that? Okay, you... Out. Ooh. Run forward and attack to perform an elbow thrust. Run backwards to unlock from all melee effects. Okay. Yeah, out. Okay, I like how they are slowly introducing these moves to us. Instead of trying to push it all on in one go. I, I could have dodged that one. Okay, finish you while you're down. Because there's no honor in bar brawls. <laughs> Neither should there be in forest brawls. Oh, two more. I thought we... So unsettling. Oh. Ah, we could have grabbed him probably. I said it. I hope the sequel is a little bit uh, better dialogue and such. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was more of a concept game, if I remember correctly. In a, in a way, it is very similar to Dark Messiah, but more focused on just fist fighting instead of well, all of the stuff we were allowed to do in Dark Messiah. Is that all of them? Mm. That's all of them. The Corwits are not slaves of reality, so they can be insane. You almost seem to admire them. I was a Corwit of the Free. Nah, come on. It is true. This is where I've been most of this last month. Oh, D? So, was it the Corwitz who made you kill father mother? Was that it? No, it's not like that at all. But what did you do here? What's so special about these crackpots? I don't get it. It's not easy to explain. I'll tell you what I can about the Corwitz I met. Oh, 29 days before killing father mother. One of them was Erminia. Erminia peed on herself and starved to death anonymously. And that is what Erminia did. Because Corwits uh, are not slaves of their needs, of eating or sleeping. And they just also, sound insane. Gabel ate people. And that's just what he had to do. The Corwids are not slaves to morality or common sense. So, if I were like Animasta, I would have let Gibel eat me. But I didn't feel I had to be eaten. Okay, so we were captured by this jackass. Great. First week. First, his lunch is going to tenderize itself, apparently. And the big boy's coming in as well. It's going to be a, a three bay battle. It seems that all three of them are, well, up against me, it seems. Okay, when they're stunned, we can also just uppercut them to toss them like we have been doing. Okay, what are you doing? Just spectating? Heavyweight enemies can only be defeated by bashing weapons. Okay. Um, ah, there. That, that sort of... Okay, you could have just... <laughs> you could have just left this at one stick. There we go. Oop. Uh -huh. uh, I think I better go look for some fruit. Yeah, because this guy hits hard. Uh, what, are, what are those golf ball things? Uh, well, they might be able to. He might kill you with them. It seems. He rolled one away. 
Yeah, uh, he's going to have... Oh, oh come on. <laughs> it's just fly off. We out. What the heck? At least a weapon it doesn't seem to like it's going to be breaking or anything. Okay, if we lock on, we go back to our fists. I... Come on. Can we do more than just... Oop. Okay. Okay, it seems that our weapon combat is a bit limited like this. No, not throw it. FPS seems to be a bit off. I'm. It looks like it's running at about 30 FPS to me, but the, the counter says it's running at 70. Uh, come on. Wait, there it is. Okay, can you stop blocking? Any more fruits? Yep, yep. Yeah, probably should have watched behind me instead of turning my back on him. Okay. Okay, come on. Yeah, we can't really dodge if we're holding that thing, so... Seems like he'll only let us get in one hit before... He starts blocking. Okay, this is... This is annoying. Yeah, this is gonna be... I think this is gonna be a common thing in combat in this game. Yeah, like, like I said, it is, was... A, from what I remember, this was mostly like a concept game for yeah melee combat and such. And, well... I can say that I'm curious to see about new things, but the... Yeah, <laughs> the uh, production value isn't too great, so, hmm. Yeah, Actually, it's... Let's see, normal. Yeah, that will still have them at the same amount of health. Let's give it a bit more. Uh, oh, hello there. Hello, Rob. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, so far, so good. Okay, doing well. Question. How is my sound quality? Uh, the sound quality sounds a bit lower than before. So you got a new mic, I presume? Yeah, I got a new microphone. I got a new headset and microphone. It's okay. fucking worse. It so sounds hopefully... better. <laughs> so, so hopefully no be. more I static. Spent... Hopefully. And yeah, it should sound better. I spent 299... 229... Solus on this thing. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what the conversion rate might be. <laughs> okay, Piggy can bounce. <laughs> I don't know, I think. Yep. 120 bucks. Okay. Uh, and still, still a lot, so yeah, it should be better. Yeah, let me and check here. And I got here. this and a. Um, and a gamepad controller for my PC. Okay. Nice. <laughs> but, New, yeah, we're, it, that's the 30 minute mark, so we. Yeah, we're going to. Just take. The, just kill all the enemies and then call it a, call it a night because. I don't think they're gonna let you leave anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, Clash. This is just a... a wait, wait, they're also fighting him. Why, why why, are you going for me then, Mohawk? Take this stick and shove it up your ass. It, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm a bit split on this game. If, if there's going to be heavyweight enemies like this that are going to be an absolute annoyance to deal with, even if it was funny seeing him out swat away an anteater person. Yeah, uh, it is also a point where the feels like the story might be too weird for us. Yeah, oh, and the web... Oh, 
Oh, come on, it broke. Seriously? Yeah. Hmm. And it's just when he's all... What? No, I know that sound I was about to say. That's the sound of you dropping a weapon in, like, Counter-Strike. Oh, yeah, but this, 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 this is this is this runs in the same engine and everything. And as well, he's he's on a sliver of hell of remaining. Yeah, and well, I guess that's the decider then. Yeah, yes, the winner no. is the giant pig. <laughs> the giant pig. cannibal pig. <laughs> well, uh, you ain't getting a funeral, but they're at least disposing of your body. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to have to lean towards a no on that. It would be interesting, but we've already done, uh, yeah, Dark Messiah, which is similar in some ways. And maybe I'll look at the sequel to see if that's any better. Uh, but yeah, for now, though, we are moving I, on to the third game then. I quickly leaned no, but it's introducing a character that regular piece herself and regular dice. Why ping herself? I felt like, what? Yeah, I think they... That's you know, not dying. The self-starvation was, I think, that was meant. And this game, this game seems to set off my antivirus every time I start it up. And I've looked it up. It doesn't. Act, it's actually being just overly protective with it. Some something. But yeah, let me stream share it. So yeah, the third game for today is Zombie Driver HD. Which I believe is supposed to be something from like Newgrounds or something that I got an not got a a full on release on Steam instead. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yes, it's, I heard many flash games went to Steam uh, after some heavy the upgrading. Mm. I'm I'm not entirely sure on that, of course, but let's start the timer and start a new story. One day, the world was normal. Then not so much. <laughs> then some dipshit spilled uh, a lot of shit into a nearby power plant that exploded. And the dead just rose from that and things just sort of escalated from there. Yeah. It's up to a cab driver to, I don't know, no survive the apocalypse. You managed to survive, son, but I'm damn glad you did. The army has been sent here to quarantine the city, and we were given strict orders not to try any more rescue attempts because of some bureaucracy bullshit. I can't let you out of the city, and I can't move in with my troops. But if you can help me save some innocent lives, then I might spare some guns and an afterburner for your car. We have just received a transmission by the emergency. Yeah, th this screams new ground slash flash game. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, so we. Okay, this is what we get rewards for. Second objective: man wants revenge for destroying his city, kill 270 zombies. Okay. Uh, 73. Yep. Yeah, okay. And I. <laughs> That's a hind D. You should be able to break through to any remaining survivors. Fire! <laughs> okay, tanks versus zombies. So... No, back the crazy train up. If this is supposed to be generic Americana city, why the fuck are the local military forces using a hind D? Uh, budget cuts? Okay. Yeah, and... You are actually using a lot of uh, outdated technology, but they're still using it for some reason. Mm -hmm. I forgot to watch the video, but I only know it through a thumbnail, so I might look it up later, but... 
I know there, there has been many Christian where they still use a lot of outdated uh, machines. Like outdated helicopters and all that. Uh, they can't really sell them very well, I guess. And uh, I don't remember a Crazy Taxi being this bloody. Crazy Taxi is a different game. I know. It's the whole joke. No. My little brother had a game and I hated it. I don't think I've ever played it. So. It's at least in my opinion very annoying. You look, you get quickly tired of all the missions and the constant speaking that has nothing to do with story, just random babbles. Yeah, that, that was the case with many of those arcade games. Yeah, it it was more for game. It, they were there for gameplay, not for story and such, which is likely well. Oh, we're not likely to stream many of those games. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I would say I feel like this may have been a flash game, but it had quite an update from Flash uh, program. Yeah, it definitely has a, a new ground view, and I, I, I don't. Flash games couldn't really be 3D, if I recall. Nope. No, exactly. They, they couldn't. And did they, they, yep. they, they call this HD remastered or something? Uh, HD. Oh, we have a flamethrower? <laughs> okay. Why are, they, why are the zombies making dog noises? Uh, oh, wait, that's because I... Are there freaking dogs? Yes, there are freaking dogs. <laughs> uh, Zombie dogs. Ugh. Okay. We can't save any weapons, but we... We can just use them as much as we have the uh, ammunition for. Oop. Yeah, that's the second hero objective. Um, hey, let's, let's... now the major will pay you an extra cash. As long as he, you know, lives. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, achievement, I came, I saw, I saved. <laughs> I'm, I can't tell if they're intentionally going for the cheese ball feeling. Or, oh, hello, you. Or if, if it's if just it because they have to do it themselves. If it was from Newgrounds, they'd probably do it for the cheese ball feeling. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay, and that symbol indicates the base, and... I, I don't know if I want to speculate on what that zombie was that was throwing stuff at us. Um. Yeah, maybe best to not theorize. For it might be too much for our minds to handle. Yeah, and we probably wouldn't even want to know, even if we could guess. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure the proper grammar would be no one believed that you were going to make it. <laughs> Two civilian houses near our base were just spotted with help and SOS signs on the roofs. I received this information from a helicopter team that I've sent to rescue some kids from a school just before our actions were halted by a government order. We need to gather as much intelligence as possible so that the people in these houses are still alive. They should be able to provide very useful information. Okay. Wait, they, but look at that. Look at the line that uh, the line that's drawing on the word. It says corporate. Okay. Oh. Hmm. 
So we have the base, we have two hippies, <laughs> two car mechanics to save. And if we do it in three minutes or less, we get 2,000 bucks extra. Okay, and All right. we're good, a sports good car. Put Rom on the wheel then. <laughs> oh. All right, yeah, fine, put Rom, the, let the uh, Rom handle the guns. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Okay, we don't we don't outright get the upgrades, but we get them. Uh, we get they become available in here. And no, oh, we okay. Always nice when you can do some minor <clears throat> customizations. So we're right back. Just throw food into the machine. Okay. Again, so proving that I really should. <laughs> uh, okay, probably shouldn't have gone this way, but oh well. Um, this way? Okay, the more we go through, the more we get slowed down. And hello, thank you. Which gives them more chances to add. What it was that? Which gives them more chances to attack. Okay, just cash. And that's a solid one that we can drive through. Okay. And back. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, out of ammo, so we just have to do this <laughs> the normal way. Oh, no. I thought that was cash. I thought that was ammo. Okay, come on. Hmm. Oh, there's ammo. Okay, thank you. This should help thin the place out. If I can hit them. Single. Oh, they were actually shooting as well. The army would come to rescue us. But hell, the taxi is even more rad. Just get us out of here. Take the keys to my ride. I hope you can squash some of those zombies with it. You sure this is the mechanics and not the hippies with that hairband? Oop. I hate that voice actor already. Uh, hopefully we won't hear too much of him. For now... Yeah, but I don't get it. Well, but he's a tech guy. Uh, probably. But I don't know why, but something about that w way he speaks annoys me. I don't know why. Yeah, probably because it's just the programmers putting on a voice. No, I mean, like... Come on, dude. Nah, that's it's me, dude. That, that 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 kind of speech, like, it sounds like they have wrecked their own brains or something. Yes, I'm talking to you. Kidding, you okay, that was that must have been a reference to something I, or you got I seven not seconds. Make it to the RB base. For the bonus. Just seconds ah, short. <laughs> okay. Game's a bit simple so far, but not really bad. Achievement hot rod. Okay. Oddly enough, I could see you stream this. Read Operation uh, name, Ilium. Operation Meatball. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Must be an Airbus. Yeah, it must be an Airbus of something if it is spawning zombies in that numbers. Okay. Uh. Oh, but right. it, how are you, Ron? By the way. What? How are you, Ron? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, that's, that's good, good to hear. And uh, yeah, so far I am leaning towards uh, giving this a yes on streaming it. Yeah, like. Uh, before people start complaining, I don't count as, this as a racing game. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a zombie killing game. By the oh, way, hello. No hmm? by, the way no by the way, I'm now 25 years old. Yep. Oh yeah, congratulations <laughs> on that. Yeah, congrats and happy birthday. <laughs> well, it was yesterday, but thank you. Yeah, yeah happy late birthday. I also have something to announce. Yeah. I become an uncle to a fourth kid. <laughs> Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the Swedish are trying to outbreed the wolves or something. Oh, I will, I will tell that to my twin and my younger brother. <laughs> uh, okay, this is probably going to come into effect at some point. Uh, these, the amount of passengers that these planes can carry, but let's go with the sports car for now, just to see how it goes. And it seems that the weapons and upgrades are universal. Always nice. Okay, I do like that. Well, hopefully it means you can get a very big uh, engine of war. Probably was a bad turn there. Uh, But yeah, that can get pretty annoying in some games where you where you have to upgrade every single thing separately. I don't oh, mind it, oh, uh, depending how it's done. Uh, okay, this escalated quickly. Can't you guys uh, firebomb it? No, just let the taxi driver do this shit. Fine, I guess. There. Is this actually going to work? Just going back and forth? Okay, out of ammo. Luckily, there's something there. I, mean, are, I I can't... Okay, that one was throwing... Are, are they, they're throwing junk at us. <laughs> okay, that was better than what I was thinking of earlier. Where it looked like a pregnant woman who <laughs> was throwing babies at us. It does look like that. Something pregnant. And I think that's it's moaning? Groaning? Now, I, I was talking about the, uh, the, the smaller throwing zombies, like the one that I am completely failing to run over. Oh. Oh, I think I noticed them now. There we go. Neat. Okay. Cool. Fire bomb it. Now. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please. Burn it with fire. Oh, we are quite damaged. Yeah. No zombie running over. Just get to the base. Okay. That is going to make the time things more annoying, though, that we also have to get back in time. Uh, still got plenty of time here, though. Uh, <laughs> I say as we're on freaking fire. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's I was just to mention that. Uh, I don't think this. Drive punk. Just no. You know. Uh, it depends how thick the concrete is in quality, but otherwise, yeah. I do think much of this concrete is probably a little bit too thick to try through. Yeah. 
So why are we stopping here now instead of the other place? Nope. That was one hell of a battle. Whatever caused the people in this city to turn into Walking Dead is far worse than we expected. Let's hope we don't see any more mutants like this. And Say that. And yeah, jinxed. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, evacuate three kids from the school. We'll get a speed upgrade and cash. And yeah, we get the limousine if we clear out the mansion. Okay. There's no time limit, so go ahead and clear out the mansion to get the limo, to get the limo so you can yeah. rescue everybody. Yeah, I'm free to confess. As a kid, very young kid, I for some reason thought limousines were the fastest cars. Okay. Yeah, because they were long. That is not how physics works. Yeah, it took me a while to realize that. <laughs> Did you think that in races, the back wheels have to line up or something? That a no. limo would have a head start? No, just because it was so much longer, they would have a head start. Probably due to cartoons that some of them had a longer nose than someone else. <laughs> Uh, let's see, yeah. if we just head right, we should be able to get there pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's get a ramming upgrade and some armor. Oh, we, not have, we don't have enough for armor, okay. Uh, uh -oh. oh, and it's a night mission now. That's going to make things fun. <laughs> okay, out this way, down the road. And then right. Okay. Yeah, we are totally going to see more of those freaking mutants. And those on the left were pretty big. <laughs> Let's avoid those. Okay. Uh, nope. Can't go through that because it has a concrete base. Ooh. Okay, those big ones are going. Oh, yeah, they slow us down a lot more. Here. Okay. And. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, that's. Oh, that's nitros. Okay. And here's the mansion. I thought we died there. Same. <laughs> what the heck? Kill the zombies. I'm blowing the gun. Ah, fuck you out of ammo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just driving them over then. Uh, are there any gun pickups in the neighborhood? I'm not seeing any. Hmm, actually, oh. We might actually be able to clear it out just by uh, luring them away or something. Since there are a lot of new ones are entering the area from around the place. This will have to do for now, though. Yeah, they are just throwing junk at us. And, oh, we are low on health. Um, and it looks like... Okay, the, the thing with the kids is timed, it seems. Uh, I saw... Yes, I saw that. Dimmy. Okay, okay. Oh, that's not a... Oh, yeah, we need to get those kids quick. 
Oops. That's a lot of them. Judging by the fact that the backyard is filled with zombies, I'm guessing there were no survivors. Also, the pine is on fire, so there's that. Yeah. I think that means something shot it down? If that's the case, then yeah, there's definitely more of those big mutants around. Uh, you got an achievement for a combo there. Oh, hello. I gotta go oh, grab no, my nitro. Food. Okay, that's just an instant refill for the nitro. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's a thrower. Okay, those are going to be the most annoying because they they actually stand still and don't get in move. They don't move in front of us. Okay, one more. Yep. And the sniper took it out. And but why is there? Okay. One other must have walked in or something. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess they got what they deserved then for ignoring <laughs> to, to save Harry Potter and co. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take let's give the limo another try. Like, this sports car is pretty fast, but it seems to also be a lot more fragile. And hello there, I'll be taking this. <laughs> uh. Thank God for America's gun obsession <laughs> during a zombie ac ac apocalypse. Thank you, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Did that count as... Okay, I think that counted enough as clearing the place out. Bloody heck. Yeah, I suspect... The sports car is built for speed, not being a tank. Yeah. Which makes it a bit uh, less useful than you'd want <laughs> whilst trying to drive through a horde. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully so, the Lindo is better as a tank in comparison. Yeah, it's a mayor's limo, so it's likely armored to all hell and back. And should yep. be able to carry a lot of people. Yep. Okay. Drop off uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And this then we're is done. The, this is a miss a Harry Potter reference. Now, the, the, the image for the kid looked a bit like Harry Potter. <laughs> Look at the zombies killed. Uh... Oh! 6-5, <laughs> one short! <laughs> oh, bloody heck! Mm. Official Lost Bird! We received a distress call from a television crew that went on a suicide trip through the city to film what is going on inside. We wanted to stop them, but they got through the quarantine before we managed to completely seal off the city. They said they caught some footage of a new type of zombie near the chemical plant where everything started. This could be very valuable information and might help us better understand what is happening. Their van broke down in the suburbs and they are in desperate need of help. If you don't get there fast, they will soon become supper for a mob of hungry zombies. Okay. No timer and we need to defend them. And it, uh, we get a bonus of cash if we don't let them get too damaged. Okay, six people in this thing, Max. Uh, it'd be nice if we could see a graph somewhere of what the, st the stats are of each of the cars. Yeah, that would be actually nice. Swap each car. Uh, the, 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 the. Right. Oh, hold on. 
Uh, if we swap between... Okay, that... Yeah, that works. Okay, th this just adds to... Uh, okay, so those are separate, but these are not. Okay, we have to oh, get a car and I saw specific... the with the sports yeah. car right away. Yeah, one armor. Okay, but it we can upgrade them. <laughs> okay, so the taxi is average all around and yeah like it says here separate for each car common for all cars so let's buy that uh, sports car is one on uh, armor one on ramming speed but full on well high on speed and since we can get these speed we can get each of these upgrades three times so yeah one two five is the max that they'll have on their own I'm presuming <clears throat> limo high on armor and ramming speed, lower on speed. Yeah, we are, we're definitely taking this thing for a while then. Let's see, to the Turk from combos. Yeah, the, the loading screen goes a bit too uh, quick, if you ask me. Okay, mm -hmm. I think I figured out why there's high knees as backup helicopter. Why then? The developers are Polish. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> bit, bit. Oh, okay, yeah. It doesn't really say if this is America or such. So this could be uh, <laughs> Poland, something, something in here. No, I will not be surprised if this is America due to its a very popular target. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a hundred of them. Okay, the, the timer was about to go off, but I, I paused it. Oh, we're out of ammo. So let's just finish up this last mission, because I am curious about this new type of zombie. Unless they mean the big ones that are walking around. I'm guessing this game wouldn't be too long. So yeah. maybe next week we continue with this. Uh, yeah. But I'd be up for it. Okay, this ports the last few. There we go. I, I do like that they actually have people shooting at the zombies, so we're not the only ones. Thank you so much. We are heading off to the military base. Meet you there. And that achievement, your five minutes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, yeah, let's get that. Let's see what info they might have on that new type of zombie because I am curious. Uh, people can get people can get quite uh, uh, creative with zombies at times, even though a lot of times people don't. Yeah, the possibility is still there. So let's see what they have. And then we'll call it for the last game. Which will actually be a, a bit out of order with how things, you know, how we usually do things. Okay. Okay, boomers. All right. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, we can't exit out from here, so we'll we'll sit through the briefing of the next one. Okay. 
pretty fun. Not not too amazing, but not bad either. This is in those. Uh, I'd say with this game, you <clears throat> with your view scores, you tip, you'd probably end up with like a, a six or seven like this. And generally, uh, yeah, six or seven is still a good game. And usually, though, people draw too much from those numbers, but yeah, still good and enjoyable yeah. at least. And how much did this cost? And uh, not much, I think. I yeah, probably like picked this up during a. I probably picked this up during a sale, as I typically just pick up random stuff like that. Like, let me actually take a quick look. Uh, zombie. Yeah, for driver has... HD. I'm gonna be fat. <laughs> if you have a certain amount in fun compared to the price, it can be fun. There has been games you felt decent but overpriced. And it's just 10 bucks. All right. The, the, for 10 bucks, that is quite good, I say. And it's from Exor Studios. And I'm just trying to... Okay, they don't have too many games to their name. <clears throat> but it might be interesting to look at them some more later. For now, though, we have a bit of a special guest of a game. Uh, once it loads in. Yeah, this is a multiplayer game, so though I'm I'm breaking a bit of the rules with this game, but typically we, I avoid multiplayer games, or at least online multiplayer games. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I was gifted a key for this game from uh, another streamer uh, who was uh, gifted those games to distribute them among his viewers. So just give it a minute to start up. OBS has caught right. on to it already. So stream sharing, this is due process, and yeah, it's a new game, and like I said, uh, the developers of this game gave uh, him, uh, Viking Blonde, a few keys to distribute among his viewers to, uh, well, get a bit of a player ga base going. I'm going to stop the game a bit so I can move the window. I really should find a way to just have them appear at the top of the screen instead of in the middle always. Mm. There we go. The way and the best way I could describe this game would probably be uh, Rainbow Six Siege, but a bit more arcadey and with a bit more extra on the training stuff. There, well, not the not the training, the yeah, the planning stuff. Uh, we could go through the training, but it doesn't really have a dedicated active um, <clears throat> tutorial where it goes step by step through everything. You are kind of thrown in a bit. So instead, let's go into casual multiplayer. And yeah, they... I, I do like this when it pops up, where they require you to play a few uh, matches before they allow you to go into ranked. Uh, we can see all, all the types of servers we'd be trying to join. And let's see. The, like I said, this game is similar to <clears throat> Rainbow Six Siege with uh, defenders and attackers. Uh, and yeah, it has a bit of a 80, <laughs> very big 80s stuff as going, thing going. We are currently on the defenders team. And let's see, let's... Oh, we are <laughs> entering in the middle of a match. And yeah, the the attackers are, well, the anti-bomb squads. But what is different with think, most of... With, what is different with Rainbow Six Siege is that you have a map here where you can check things out. And you can also just draw instructions and such on them, which will actually be visible on the in the game itself. And, uh, of course, <laughs> when you get like, people drawing something, of course, they're going to draw dicks on it. Wonderful. Okay, started the timer a bit late. One thing that is also different is that you have limited supplies. So whatever you grab from the, well, from the supply crates, uh, you can't use that in the next round if you die, I think. I haven't been surviving too many rounds, so I can't tell if those stay saved up or not. 
Oh dear, it's gonna be a massacre. Yep. Okay. Uh, defenders will of course have stuff to them so that they can use to well block routes and such like that barbed wire which is we're showing. You can also put up some tags on the map for where to put stuff. Uh, let's see, we have an entrance there. That's a, a a door that needs to be blown up. There's a vent over there. And they can also enter. Green doors can just normally be opened. Blue are windows. Uh, we have a bomb here. We can also select. We can also move around where we spawn. This is also useful because you, you don't want to end up on the other side of a building when you're going to block off a certain path. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is a very oh, open area. Uh, Operation Bagel Kingdom, it says in the corner. <laughs> okay, Did Central I... from XCOM decided to name the operation? Uh, <laughs> uh, we better get out of that because otherwise we're spawning without any... Yeah, without any... Uh, ammo or weapons I almost what escom is very random with the operation names yeah okay pistol main weapon we can bring up bring along some headgear and two items so let's pick up some barbed wire uh, the molotovs and other grenades count as items as well uh let's uh, are you defending or are you attacking yeah, uh, defending. The attackers okay, are the SWAT teams and such. Okay, put the barbed wire by the doors. And uh, grab an automatic weapon. Yep. And make yep. sure to Too late on that. the doors covered. And okay, someone put that up already. Yep. Oh, that one's right in the open. Got that off. Okay, toss that down, okay. And they're attacking already. We can't actually see them on the map, but we can see it when our, an ally gets killed, of course. Oh. Uh, flashlight. Oh. Uh, be right back. Need to grab uh, something. And, and we got completely off guard. I'm behind, but they need recharging. Okay. They really just went straight through the for the bomb. They they must have blown this place up and rushed immediately up here or something. Hmm. And yeah, they dis they disabled the power and rushed straight in. But why aren't they disarming it then? Or are they just going for a, a full kill? There they go. Okay, if they're smart, they have grenades. Let though. No, they were completely lured into an ambush there. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, typicals with this stuff. You can see your, the, the teams up here. It's 5v5. Yeah, five five. Actually, it's 5v4. Okay, that's a bit unfair. There you go, back. Welcome back. Rewind, Don't go rewind. Wait, what? I was saying, rewind, rewind, as everything went to shit. Um, what did I miss? A complete team wipe. Oh. And That's yeah, what it, I miss for not having headphones on. It's three rounds each in different locations. Uh, let's see, this is the... What is this? Brick house. Yeah, we start off somewhere else. Okay, that is the path that they're likely going to take. That is their spawn point, that boxy car um let's see let's grab some stuff um auto shotgun king of close range okay let's take those we can only carry a limited amount of ammo of course and yeah the barbed wire is wait i thought okay i don't i'm not entirely sure if they refill or not but we do have less of them now. So I'll grab one of these. Actually, maybe somebody else grabbed them. Could also be. I, as far as... I, I think they don't fully respawn. Like, I have... But it could just be that I'm too slow looking too much at the maps or something. And, yeah, better reload these things. Because they don't... 
Yeah, they don't start with a, a clip in it like you saw with this thing here. All right. Um, the opposite team, the attacker team also has a single charge with which they can destroy a wall. So we would have to keep an eye on that as well. Let's see. Okay, I don't think they'll be able to blow through this. So, yeah, we start it. And I'm just going to corner camp here for a bit, unless they... Okay, I don't... They'd have to go all long way around for that. Oh, I can hear footsteps. Okay, that... Oh, they... they... They are coming the long way around. <laughs> okay. That means they're either coming through there or through there. Whatever you do, oh. don't kill the chefs. Seems they are coming through here after all. Are they, are they trying to shoot? Okay. <laughs> You... Really, Helen? Really? <laughs> oh, hello there! <laughs> okay, what the hell happened there? All of them got shot. <laughs> and... Okay, that must have been a grenade or something, but... Damn! <laughs> or... Oh, wait, could it... I'm unsure that that was something at the very least. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now we're switching yeah. to the attacking team. So you're now the turret? No, now we're in the van here. It's stuck for a bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, he wants to go that way. We could go that way, but that the red doors are the ones that we need to blow up. Okay, everyone wants to go that way. Okay. We've been... Wait, we only have one of those? Okay, um... On the Why is this empty? Okay, let's just take one of these, one of these. Ammo up. And yeah, I'll just grab a flashbang and a frag grenade. Hey, did Had... you know that uh, part of the original part of Doom 2016 soundtrack from Mick Gordon was literally just a synthesized chainsaw? <laughs> okay, that is what? Uh, oddly fitting. What? What? Like, uh, we are here, not the. I mistook the. I mistook the. F Truck for this little thing. Synthesized chains? Yes. What, what the heck's that supposed to mean? It... Synthesizing the sounds of a live chainsaw? Yeah, just, just recording the sound and running it through a synthesizer. Yep. Maybe, I, I think I'm thinking of the wrong synthesizer here. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Star Trek today. Yeah, a music synthesizer. The, the sound, like one of those keyboard things. Oh. Still, okay. what the heck? <laughs> okay, insert events. Everyone's making a lot of noise. That, that's just a dead end. Uh. Yep. Wait, Bob, what? What? Yep. That's... Okay, come on. Um. 
a way to put up barbed wire. Yeah, and now it's just 1v2. Okay, Texas Reds. Oop. That's one in the Lone Sharks build <laughs> office. Okay. And done. Oh, dear. Yep. This might work a bit better. Uh, yeah. Uh, as is very, very obvious, I am not good at these types of games. <laughs> hey, you want to play for three-year co-op? Uh, what? What co-op? The third game in Fear. Uh, oh, Fear 3. <laughs> yes. Uh, they call it for three or because for some reason the <laughs> the development team wrote the title as that. Don't you mean uh, three ear? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forgot this fear series actually got co-op at one point. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's finish this match, and then well, and then we'll call it on the stream today. Okay, they want to go for through the pipe there. Um, okay, maybe we can blow that door to distract them. Yeah, I, I keep pressing A even though it's F because I'm way too freaking used to that. Okay. Let's take the battle rifle. And the pistol. Do we have... Ah, these are the ammo for that. Okay. Reload this thing. And reload this. Okay. Yeah, hey, clackers sorry, are well. I gotta, go. Hmm? I gotta go to the bathroom. Don't know how long I'll be there. You guys have fun. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. See ya. Be safe, Rom. Yeah. And thank you for joining. You're welcome. See you later. Later. Be safe. Someone's trying to what? use voice chat in the game. But they're coming out very soft. Quite nice to have a, an extra commentator along with us today. Yeah. Yeah, the more the merrier, they say. Um, okay, they're saying that we only need one explosive, but I don't know how to drop items. <laughs> yeah, too late now. Uh, wait. Yes, wait. Hey, Mark, the lunch. Did, did no one take a clucker? No. It's just how it is. Oop, someone has a sniper position there. And yeah, the roughness of the graphics might not help too much either. With uh, being able to spot things. Okay, they ran off. Uh, <laughs> we completely failed to check the other side. <laughs> you wanna know who killed you? Uh, boss man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Two v three now. And who the, the hell drew that line? The teams have different names. You're in the visionary butchers. Yeah, uh, versus esteemed cavalry. Yeah, those names are randomized as well. Yep, and turn off the power. Yeah, because the attackers can get night vision goggles, whilst the defenders only have flashlights, so it makes them a lot easier <clears throat> to spot. Oh, it's just him left. <coughs> Overlook. Yep. And yeah, they were waiting for him. <laughs> Mm 
And that's, yep, yeah, that's the game. Because there's no way we can win it now. Mm. What the heck? This game has potential, I'd say, but it... Yeah. It, hmm. I'll try to play it some more. Maybe see if I can get a bit better at this. Because, <laughs> But... Yeah, from what I, from what I, as a, a new British sort of stuff, it, it is, it does seem like it has a lot of potential if they fine tune things. And well, this, this type of game, there's just people who are just way and way and way more into it than I. Yeah, the unsure will it be a good game to stream? Yeah, that, that's why good? I, yeah, that, that's why I said that I'm sort of breaking the rules a bit with this. Since I avoid MMOs and such more normally, <clears throat> since well, it would be very they don't they do have a story to stream, but it would take forever to get through them and such. Yeah, what the code of conduct? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that in some games like these, people can be very those three. Yeah, and I haven't I haven't been in too many matches as you can see here, but. It, yeah, if if teams are evenly matched, it's it's going to go for the full seven rounds because you could see at the middle there was a bar with uh, three uh, with three uh, gray bars on each side and a, a tiebreaker in the middle. And uh, yeah, sometimes yeah, they can <laughs> sometimes matches can go really long, or you can just get your ass kicked in <laughs> in four rounds like that. Well, it was a fifth round, but oh well. Yeah. Still, though, a, ni a nice enough game. So, anyone interested in Rainbow Six Siege, but less so in the operators and such, uh, due process might be your thing. And, yeah, we, we do have... Well, we do have some time left, but I only have the spare game left. Would we... We were a bit short on Zapekist, but... Uh, let's let's leave the next one for next time we can do this because we will be starting right back at the top alphabetically we will of course be skipping games that we've already covered before and um, yeah <clears throat> yeah and it... let's see we we only got one game we be stream it seems this time yeah with new process it was determined from the start that we likely wouldn't Zedekist is too incomplete to really do anything with. And Xenoclash is, uh, yeah, a bit too clunky. I'll, I'll take a quick look at how the reviews on that are and the sequel to see if there is much of a difference. Let's see, store page. Very positive on Xenoclash. Okay. I think it's more because of the... More, more a case of the... Uh, First person brawler bit, and what's this here? Is there okay? Apparently, there's a sort of pseudo sequel called Clash or no Clash, the Clash Artifacts of Chaos. It's very, very similar in its art style. And okay, let's take a look at Xeno Clash 2, which is also very positively uh, reviewed. Let's see. Gat's story is far from over. Xenoclass 2 picks up where the deliciously brazen verse came left off. And for four years of waiting, sequel. Okay. Uh, graphics on the screenshots look a lot better, a lot smoother. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to play the trailer because then it's going to get copyright struck immediately. Hmm. I'll, I'll take. Do I even own this game? I, I do not. It's 15 bucks. Uh, I might buy that and take a look at it. Maybe we might stream them. Maybe we might. Mm. I, I am. I am just torn on it. The quality of what we saw of the first game is rather low, especially if all of those heavy enemies are going to be that annoying to deal with. But it is very. I am very curious about it all. Yeah, I'm curious of the story, but at the same time. I'm worried also it might be a bit too weird for us. Yes. 
So let's leave it as a maybe for so far. I, I'll look up some reviews, see if it's maybe not just uh, fanboys upvoting it to all hell and such. Hmm. Yeah, probably a good idea to do some investigation on it, but the, the zombie one we just played today. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, like, it, it shouldn't be long. So I could see that... The, yeah, if I gave it a few more hours, I could see us easy finishing within two Sundays, perhaps? I'm looking up how long it usually takes to play through it now, on how long to beat. Let's see, Zombie Driver. And, uh, five hours for its main story, apparently. It... Okay, so if we wanted, we could just pick that up on another Sunday or Saturday. All right. Hmm. So I was sort of right. <laughs> yeah. But for now, we're ending a bit short, but that's going to be the case when some of the games are just uh, not as good and not as interesting. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you, anyone that's been watching now or later. And uh, thank you, Tatum, for showing up. <laughs> getting annoyed with me getting where you're from <laughs> wrong again. Uh, <laughs> let me see. I. Uh, I'll need to check up a map here, but it could be because in Dutch, Norway is called Denmark, or no, 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 Denmark, no, 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 that still is wrong. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. Uh, Nor Norway, what do we call it in Dutch then again? Norwegen? No, I don't think that's right. That, uh, let's just leave it to me being an idiot and not knowing any geography. Uh... So, yeah, thank you for showing up. And, of course, thank you, as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And Ram as well, even though he is uh, absent at the moment. It's still appreciated to have him show up every now and then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, Zombie Driver HD, we'll, we'll put that on the weekend list. But for now, thanks again for watching. And next week, we'll be continuing with Beyond Good and Evil. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks.